So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So we are back once again guys because whilst we've completed most of the story side of things in early access, we haven't quite explored the lands as much as I want to. And see, that's the thing I always love about Subnautica, it has this story that always lingers in the back but like as an example, <laughs> basically what I'm getting at with that is that it doesn't force you to experience the story if you don't want, you know, you can just go ahead and explore the lands and have probably as much fun. And so that is going to be the main focus of this episode, whilst we've done like the story stuff we haven't kind of explored Below Zero. <laughs> So I, so I did that, that's pretty clever, right? Alright then guys, and so we're now back in the world of Subnautica Below Zero. In the dead of night as well, and already failing jumps, so lovely start for this episode. <laughs> yeah, so as I said before, this episode is going to be all about exploring the things we didn't get a chance to look at, and really, I don't think I'm going to make much of a plan. As we explore new things, that's how I want this episode to kind of figure itself out, because I think that's the beauty of this stuff. If we're going into the unknown, you don't want to have a plan, okay? It's kind of those things that form up on the spot, which can make some of the best ideas. And also some of the worst, because you can die as a result. So if you guys didn't see the last episode, we've kind of got this precursor thing implanted right now in our head, and we got to try and build him something. There's a bit of a crisscross between Altera and also the precursors having this thing going on. Basically, as you can see from this log here, he wants us to build some kind of vessel, and I guess he's going to tell us almost subconsciously or telepathically how to do it, but it seems like that's where the early access kind of cuts itself off. We don't know how to build the vessel, where the location is where we can even begin building it, so like, Alan, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Because of that, Alan, for now, you got to come along and do whatever I want, okay? <laughs> One more thing as well that we need to do in the meantime is find out where the last cargo drop was. I mean, I think- nope. No, that's not it. Like, let me go ahead and throw some stuff in the storage. Don't need them. But I think there was a cargo drop that gave us a builder tool, so we can actually establish ourselves somewhat of a base. That would be good, though, because at the minute when the night time's coming, we kind of have no choice but to battle the things out, which, uh, yeah, kind of sucks. Aye. Okay, what is this? Uh, Robin, your bio sample. Did you lose sight of any of- What? Not until I launched it into space. You said the research site called you by name. Did anything like that happen since? So, there's no voice lines for this part yet. No, you said the site was off limits. What exactly happened in the sanctuary? Sam, what's this about? Just routine. I poked about, took some scans, nothing happened. Okay, I've gotta go. Stay safe. That's interesting, man, because I thought that might be off limits forever. But guys, now that the daytime is coming and, uh, you know, also an appropriate thunderstorm, it's time we go ahead and get exploring just a little bit. So the first thing that I want to try and find is the habitat builder, just so we can establish a base after as well. That would be pretty fun to build down here. I'm interested to see what sort of stuff we can even do. Dilemma number one, though. Where the freak was the new crate drop? Because everything is just simply called a supply crate. I uh, literally have no idea. Okay, so this one landed between the twisty bridges, and I'm almost certain that we've done this one before. Yep, that looks open to me, unless someone stole it. All right, so it's not that one because that's actually our home. Let's try and see if it's this one here. Let me be smart a second, okay? Something I don't do very often. I'm gonna color code that one so we know it's different and that one is home. See, look guys, sometimes the cogs up there, they do start turning a little bit quicker, okay? It's rare, but it does happen. <laughs> okay, now this one here has also been looted before. Dang it. So it's not that one as well. Wait, hold up a sec. Don't tell me we've already got the blueprint for it and I'm being stupid. Uh, okay, I mean, we've scanned a lot of the rooms and such, but I can't see the builder habitat tool actually amongst the stuff. Maybe we gotta find it Hold up a sec. If I go over to this thing and look at my different tools, let me just see. Yeah, we can't build it out of the bat. Okay, so what about this supply drop right here? Maybe this will be it? I don't know. It's the one we already just looked at. What the freak? Where is this thing? Okay, now this one here. Has that been opened? I think so. Let's check it out. Please let it be the thing. What? So I got a nun and also a war. So yeah, that was fantastic. Great. Good stuff. 10 out of 10. We're good now, guys. Okay. What the freak? I think tooltip nun? What even is that? Hold up, let me assign that. I can't. What the freak have I just collected? I have no idea. Now this looks like it could be it. Open the storage. We're gonna live. We might just live this. See the change right there? I said we're gonna live, and then I proceeded to think and go, actually, there's a 50% chance. That's called cool being a realist, guys, okay? But we've got the <laughs> got the habitat builder now. I guess from this point on, we can really get this episode finally started, 25 minutes after. Now, one of the first things people kept asking me to do was uh, actually go back to the penguins and penglings. I think they were saying, like, take the children to see how the other ones react. Let me just ask you this. If I took you away from your parents, how do you think they'd react? I mean, guys, look, just come and look at these fellas right here. Okay, there goes the little one. I mean, look, they just get on with life. They don't even care. I mean, look, uh, okay, I'm sure that was friendly. Guys, if I go ahead and surface on land with them, look at this crap. Okay, fail. Up on land with these dudes, look at this. Uh, can I please just get on the land? They don't even care. Put away this thing. We just fit straight in with them. Look, we may as well be another one of these fellas. Look at this. What about if I equip this on number one? You want this? Uh, you little one? <gasps> okay, bye. Look at this. I got an active peeper. They're not selfish. They ain't there snatching. They know it's my food, okay? Listen here, if I see you touch it or try to once, we are gonna have a problem, okay? Can we feed the little ones? Let me see. I have the active peeper. 
we can't. We can pick it up, but that's it. We're gonna let the active people free as well. Why not? Go ahead and join the penguins and uh, probably get consumed by it. I mean, uh, all right, so the plan right now is to head in this direction here. We did this in episode one, but we didn't explore pretty much anything. There's a lot of new stuff down there. A lot of new stuff. I want to see. Okay, this is really weird. All right, here we go. I just don't like it when you can't see anything underneath you. This just makes me feel a lot more safer, even though, uh, yeah, we've got these dudes now. But the crab punches down here too, minding their own business. Let's go ahead and join in. All right, let's go ahead and follow this big crevice, though. Wonder where it's going to lead. Dang. Actually, it descends quite far down when you look at this. Nearly 100 meters, and it keeps going down? It's almost like a mini cave here. I mean, change of plan, but let's go this way here. Let's see what this might lead on to. Okay, just a floating rock, and inside is a silver ore. So, thank you. Pockets of the stuff, actually. You look at this. Another one. Got two more here. We want to watch as well our oxygen. This is an interesting little cave. Doesn't really have much of a purpose, but I'll take it, I guess. Also leads this way here. Don't think this is the way we came through, but it takes us just back out to the water surface, and we're fine. All right, so this is close to where the cargo island area is, and I think there will probably be some kind of structure built underneath as time goes on, because we know that the precursors use heat to get their energy, and this means that there's definitely a heat source nearby. Give me some of that good stuff. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm trying to get my bearings a little bit in terms of where we've actually got to go to see the different stuff. There was a load of weird, like, floating lily pad island things, and I think it's somewhere nearby. I want to see what's going on on the surface there, and also below zero, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now we're starting to hear a lot more noise, almost like volcanic activity, and I feel like now we're getting closer. Yeah, there's these things again. Now, people were telling me if you go up to these, you can actually ride on the back of them. So, like, bro, if you don't mind, let me, uh, interact with what? You literally... That is so dope! <laughs> Making me feel like I'm in Super Mario Odyssey or something? I'll take it. Hey, you hear that sound? I think that's the sound one of these just made here, but quite clearly, they're extremely docile. So much so we can interact with them and they don't even care about it. However, this guy would, so I won't even try it. That's proven, okay, I'm out. Whoa, look at the size of this iceberg. Also, whoa, floating quartz, whoa. Oh my gosh, look, what the freak? Bro, look how dark this is. My light is on, so there's the bottom of the surface. One of those guys, you're okay. Well, you're not, but you know what I mean? You won't be posing a threat anytime soon, but let's see where this leads to. 100 meters down, and it is still kind of sloping down slowly but surely. Oh, man. <laughs> you hear, like, the booms and stuff down here? I hate it, but also... Holy crap, it's, like, getting noisier as I get over here. It's actually a different texture, you see? We've got different resources. We've got some of the gel sacks, uh, just a table coral. There's actually stuff been built over here, so we can explore it. This is kind of interesting. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, you hear that? Okay, I think that was a CM. <laughs> I think, you know? Holy crap. It gets so ghostly down here. 200 meters down. Wow. This is insane, the atmosphere. Hold on. I think I'm going to surface for some oxygen and go straight back down. It's still going deeper. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to swipe this here. Enzyme 42. What the heck? This whole place just feels like beyond ghostly. I mean, we've reached a lily pad zone I was talking about, so perfect time. Let's do this. You hear how noisy, like the ocean bubbles are and stuff around here. All this stuff just sets the atmosphere. Actually, you know what, let me go ahead and save it real quick. But guys, if we die in the process of doing this, maybe it's gonna be the only way. We don't have any vehicles to properly investigate, so we just gotta go for it, man. If you hold... My God, that thing is so creepy the way it jankily moves about, but I also love ya. Hey, how's it going? Whoa. What is this? It feels like euphoric at the same time as bad. Can't quite explain it. So interesting, you hear that? Let's keep going. Right, there's like rock structures over here that do go up a little bit. But we are down here swimming at 200 meters at this minute in time. Oh my gosh. And look, it just drops off straight down here. What? It is still going deeper. I got a surface, man. I'm getting really freaked out. Literally, you can't see anything. It's just blackness all around you. Let's get our bearings. So we're 800 meters away from the cargo rocket and also over a kilometer away from home. It's a really interesting zone. I don't know really what I was expecting. I didn't think the map would be quite this big, but it's clear they are planning a lot for this game eventually. And I think as the months go on, they're going to be releasing like semi big updates. I can't wait. This is so cool. Now I'm actually going to have to have the hood on this thing just so I can see where I'm going. I see a lot of the whales. <laughs> 
my god, this is ridiculous. I can't do this in the dark, bro. It just goes down more and more. I think that's one of the glow whale things. I mean, it's not attacking, so we... I think we're good. I, I really don't know what's happening right now, guys. This is scaring me a lot. Hit the bomb, I think. Are we at the bomb? I can't even tell. My light is on. Okay, I think we are, yeah. Some of these fellas down here. A load of ruby as well. I mean, we will go ahead and salvage that. Thank you. Thank you. How? How, how does it have a 400 meter drop point? Seriously, what the freak is going on? This is insane. You again. What? Th what are you talking about? The prawn suit was... What is this? Hold up. I'm gonna have to read that in a sec. Dude, I'm freaking out. I'm 500 meters deep. I think I got a surface. Yeah, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of conversation, but I don't know what's being said. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oof. I don't think we're gonna make it. We got 100 meters to go still. Um, <laughs> no, this ain't good, guys. I'm about to black out. Come on. I'm so close. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come on. Half a kilometer deep, and we're still alive. Let's go. You see these dudes clinging on upside down. Wait, they're clinging on to nothing. You probably need some help. So what is this? Like a random cube? Uh, what the? What I just get right now? Deep Arctic resource? What the? F I'm about to clear up some space in my inventory, just in case I find more stuff. I found that attached to one of these rocks here. Bro, there's some other stuff. You see this? Hello. Look, another one here. On these? Deep Arctic resource. What could you make with that though, you know? <laughs> look how far this thing goes down. <laughs> okay guys, look, listen, I'm sorry. I've had to enable the oxygen cheat because like there's no other way of getting down here. I I'm too curious right now. I have to see what else lingers at the bottom, but I need the time to explore and not just have to rush it, you know? Now look at this zone. If you look down, all of these dudes, look, it's like a colony of them. They're all here. But the question I have, like what is below them all? What are they guarding? I want to fall out. I know I shouldn't be going down, but uh, yeah, you can't convince me. Sorry about that. Yeah, with the terrain thing, we can actually see what lies beneath to an extent. Look, as you go down, there's more and more. More life. 400 meters down, and this cavern just keeps on going. This thing looks like it may have been kitted out to an extent. At 550 meters deep, there's stuff like, what is this? Nickel ore? Yes! Like, I didn't even know this stuff would be here. You're supposed to be able to get here in due time. If we keep going down, we've now hit some kind of, like, surface. Is that over there, though? Like a white light source? Uh, okay, what the freak? What the heck is this? Now it's disappeared. Uh, let's follow wherever this leads to. I have no idea where that might be, but I'm interested. Oof. <sighs> Guys, we're still going down. Like, we're nearly a kilometer deep by this point, or at least we're starting to make the progress, and we're finding more and more resources, like nickel ore. So it all exists down here. Okay, we've hit the hard floor again, but you see on the HUD, there's like two chambers where it drops even deeper again. What the freak? I can't handle this. This is really freaking me out. I... Oh my god. Alright guys, we're 860 meters deep right now. Still... Nothing more down here, just a lot of open space. It's almost like it's been carved out, though, for something, eventually. Whoa, there's actually a cave system down here. You see this? We go through... Yeah. Okay, what the freak is this? There will be something here in time. This is just like a placeholder for now? I don't want to spoil too much, but I'll just at least look what this thing could be. Wow. It's a very small location, but it's going to house something. You see, the thing about this as well is what's nice. We're not spoiling the story, because all we're doing is exploring locations. We don't know why this exists yet, but we know we need to eventually get here. It's nice to know how much area they're covering with this game as well. Like, this is going to be a huge experience. I'm so excited. For now, though, my claustrophobia is really starting to go into overdrive. I want to get out of here as soon as I can, so I'll see you guys back at the surface. Whoa! <laughs> my god! Look how many of these guys there is, just kind of littering the place. Don't you dare tell me what to do again, okay? I'll drink when I want. Um, why are these guys moving when I'm moving? Uh, okay, that was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah, you guys should probably not copy me. You should probably go, uh, you know, underwater. You might die. Dude, this is crazy. Look how many there is! What the heck is going on? <laughs> Alright guys, you, uh... Yeah, you have fun, I'm out. Man, I bet if you looked... Okay, another thing? I've intercepted... Okay, Sam got all intercepted voice log. I'm getting so much different stuff right now. I don't know if I want to read it to spoil it. I guess I will, but, like, you guys can skip past it if you don't want to hear it. Now, the first one I actually went ahead and got was this huge voice log here. I think only the start plays, but the rest of it... 
it doesn't have any voice tags yet. I think because what it is, is it's a lot of different stuff involving the prawn suit as opposed to people talking. You see, it's a lot of explaining what is actually happening. Wait, 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 hold on. All right, I can't read that. I'm literally getting fuzzies from the thought and I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I mean, you guys can pause and read that if you want, but I will say there is going to be NPCs in this game by the sounds of things. That sounds incredible. So the next thing of interest is these little lily pad things right here. They have some kind of purpose. I'm wondering, can we actually go on top of them? Let's find out. There we go. You can You can't. You fall straight through. That's interesting. But what is the point? Hey, CM Pro, how's it going? They kind of root themselves onto rock. Maybe this was like lifted off of the ground as the lily pad formed and grew. It kind of uses this itself to like sustain the roots. And it just exists and I guess thrives off of the uh, sunlight which comes down on here. It's kind of interesting, man. And she just exists down here as well, releasing the enzyme 42. Oh, look at this though. You see? Hold up, that dude's shooting off. Emperor Juveniles. What? I can't do this, man. There's too much stuff being spoiled. Bro, I gotta carry on. I can't. Look at this. It, like, roots itself down here. And this seems so mystical as well. Let me turn the light in a second down here. Yeah, here we go. We got another cavern. You see this? There will definitely be more building structures down here as time goes on. Look at this. Yep. This is exciting, man. I can't wait. Yeah, here we go. This descends rapidly once again. But the terrain is totally different, you see? It's almost like this portion of the rock is just hovering in place, like something lifted it off. Oh, we got the shrooms down here, the jelly things. We'll take a quick look at these, but I think that's about all we can do for the most part. Oh my god, why is it so pitch black down here? How are they not on anything? What's going on? I think there's a surface like here. Okay, thank goodness, yeah. Now what might this be here? Let me just see. A lily pad resource. So there's all kinds of different resources around here. We'll scan this as well. Ah, the jelly shroom. That's what it was called. Okay, well, need that in our encyclopedia. Thank you very much. Yeah, for me, man, this zone is incomplete, so I don't want to go ahead and spoil it. We'll come back here once the time is right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was thinking, like, what about if a random big monster spawned in and then they screamed? <laughs> I can't do this game. So, uh, I was about to check this place out here. I, I can't handle this. I can't see nothing. Nope, I'll have to wait until day. All right, guys, and we're back. And yes, I did just go ahead and wait a whole night cycle. You know what I really love about this game? Like, taking a moment, how everything around you two feels so fitting. Like, literally, if I look to my left, I can see the cargo rocket up top there and the base. That's, I don't know why, that's just crazy for me. I feel like the scope of this game is just so much more. I don't know, dude. All right, so now we can somewhat see what's down here. Let's do a little bit of exploring. Okay, and I really don't like this zone already. <laughs> ignore it. Just ignore it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Again. Look how the mood just drops. It's another one of, like, these lily pad zones here, you see? Uh -huh. Wait, what type of plant is this? Can we scan it? We can. Wow. Now, this place is even more ghostly than the other one. That's the vibe I get. Everything just feels so ghostly. <laughs> God, I can't do this. I'm literally focusing way too much on the sound. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got down here, though. Rapid descension again, you see? Yeah, as we go down, we look on the mini-map. Does this thing have a base? Yes, it does. Look at this, you see? More textured, but there's more items and resources. What is this? Lithium. This will be another new place, yeah. Wait, what's this? Hold up. A small base here? I mean, bro, when you built this, what the freak were you thinking? Can I just go ahead and snatch that real quick? What the freak is this? Look at this. It's like right there. I can't get it though, you see? That's like an egg. I can scan it. Hold up. Who's that? Precursor NPC legs fragment? Bro, I shouldn't be here. What the heck did I just scan? Uh, yeah, I know, but why? There's nothing to do with it just yet, but that's another new thing we'll be having to check out in due time. This is crazy, dude. This is really crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go back to the surface. My anxiety is really triggering, and I'm actually, like, getting very nervous. I <laughs> I don't like the feeling this game's given me. If we had, like, the Seamoth or some kind of vehicle where you could dip down low and you know you're, like, contained within some kind of safety, I'd be a little bit better. But th th this is just really, really setting me off, and I don't know why. All right, let's hit the surface. Oof, feels good to be above zero for a change, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, if there's anything I've learned from this episode, it's that this place is going to be insane to explore. And I don't know if the scope is actually bigger or going to be bigger than the original Subnautica, but it certainly fills it for some reason. It definitely does. I think because now they're focusing on land transportation as well as, like, underneath sea stuff, the diversity that this game is going to offer, I think that may actually mean that it's going to be better than the original Subnautica, which is a hard statement to make, and it's also very early to say that, but this game is really surprising. 
surprising me. Even in the earliest of access stuff, they've got a lot planned. Yeah, guys, we didn't even get to do half the stuff we wanted. I mean, I found the habitat builder, but then we just explored the lands. I just ended up getting so engrossed in that. Uh, like, there's other areas we didn't even check out. Like, back over towards this side here. Where we initially found, like, the oxygen upgrade. We've never gone underneath again there. And I feel like there's going to be something down there, too. For the veterans of the series as well who have actually watched it this far in and are still listening, this is my message to you, okay? Just let me know what you want to see in the next episode, okay? I'll be checking the comments down below, so just leave your suggestions and we'll see what we can figure out. For this one, though, guys, this is where we're going to leave it here, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.